today we're talking about the resorts world in Las Vegas. As some of you guys may know, we started building our house here in Vegas last year, and every time we're here in town, our go-to hotel has been the Conrad. The Conrad is one of three hotels that makes up the resorts world. The Hilton that has its own separate elevators, the Conrad that takes up another, and the Crockfords which takes up the top floors of both the Hilton and the Conrad. Since our last visit, we've stayed at two different types of hotel rooms here at the Conrad. The Strip View Premium Room. And the one that we're in right now, which is the Strip View One Bedroom Suite. As soon as you walk in, you obviously have the living room over here. Smaller, separate toilet. Here we have the living room area. So you have big couches here. I honestly feel like one person could fit here and another person could fit here. Some more chairs here, a table, another chair. And then there's a bench that comes with the TV, our little snack bar, counter, splash coffee. So fancy, they have a little Nespresso machine there. They have a fridge also included which a lot of the hotels don't really have that anymore again these you do have to pay for as soon as you pick them up it'll charge you to the room when you go to the connecting area connecting door you have the bedroom king size bed got your tv set up here too and we have a little vanity area here closet Super nice, lots of space. They include robes, it looks like. So we have some slippers there also. And finally, the bathroom. We have a tub here, which I don't think I've had a tub that's actually away from the shower. So this is kind of fancy. Have an extra toilet and the shower. view from our room you can actually see a little bit of the pools right now it's winter time so they're not really open well it is open depending on weather inclement conditions still fairly early for you know people that usually hang out here on the strip hopefully it gets a little busier it is monday morning after all So in lieu of room service, the Resorts World has partnered with Grubhub. How it works is they have this little card available in your rooms and it has a little QR code that you can scan to download the Grubhub app. Choose what food you want to get delivered from the restaurants that are open at the time and then they'll bring up your food right to your door, just like any other Grubhub. Now let's check out what else is going on downstairs. <laughs> One of my favorite things about our hotel is the store, which is conveniently located right next to the elevators. It's coming handy for when we need snacks, water, most importantly, a band-aid, but you do have to pay a pretty hefty price for that convenience. For example, a stick of chapstick is $6.
Resorts World has so many dining options, but perhaps the most unique is their famous foods street east, which is kind of like a food court style dining experience that allows you to choose from many different options and have the experience of, you guessed it, street foods. Well, normally the way it works is that they have these kiosks available for you in order to be able to place your order from all the different restaurants. Be able to see the menu from all of the restaurants that's serving at that time. And then they'll prompt you to either pay with your card right away or charge your room. And then you'll put your phone number in to give you a text notification when your food is ready for pickup. Of course, if you like to keep things simple, you can still order the old fashioned way and order at the counter. Located right at the main strip entrance of the resort's world, you'll find the district, which is your main shopping experience to explore. It's filled with trendy, unique retail stores, fine and casual dining, and lots of other options. As you can see, not all of the stores are open yet. However, I am very excited to see what this whole place will end up once everything is all ready to open. center is your main centerpiece the globe it's crazy because they're constantly changing the display of that globe which is one of my favorite things to look at over here now made it to the pool area and it is located on the sixth floor and there's lots of different options both for kids and adults. The Resorts World officially opened June of last year and they are the newest hotel to be on the Las Vegas Strip since 2010. Located across the street from the Encore Hotel, the Resorts World is located on a pretty historic spot that used to belong to a former well-known establishment, the Stardust. In fact, you can find small details around the hotel today that pay homage to the Stardust's legacy. Though the location is not in the most desired part of town, what the Resorts World lacks in its location definitely makes up for what's inside the hotel. With its vast size, the Resorts World still manages to make all of your essentials accessible, starting with the Grubhub partnership in lieu of your regular room service, the luxurious amenities that they offered, as well as the many dining options, which gives you options of quick bites, casual dining to fine dining. From our few visits here at the Conrad Hotel, safe to say that this hotel has been our go-to home away from home. And that is pretty much it for today's video. If you are planning on staying at the Resorts World, hopefully this video has helped you plan your trip a little bit and get a glimpse of what to expect. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to tune back into our channel to check out the rest of our move to Las Vegas and hopefully more Vegas content in the future. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. You can hear me. You can. What's great about it is that it saves you time in saving. It saves you. Just like any other Grubhub. The Strip View Premium Room and the Strip View Premium King. The Premium Room with the Strip View and the Premium One Bedroom. I only did this for policy too, so I literally put. $20 in just so I can we could spin it from camera. Oh my God. But I don't even know what's going on. It's only crazy. It's only game 11 out of 24. Oh my gosh. And he only did this for like um <laughs>